We are in a sixth mass extinction across our globe, and Minnesota is not immune. Some of our most vulnerable species are ones that depend on our 10,000 lakes. Warmer temperatures, pollution, or even development of wetlands are putting pressures on species like turtles. You perhaps were like me and not even aware we still allowed commercial turtle harvesting in Minnesota. Turtles, reptiles, amphibians, insects are some of the most at risk here. And um, it just doesn't make sense to me. It seems like a no brainer that this should have already been on the books. The past two years have seen legislation fail to ban the commercial harvest, but representative Samantha Vang of Brooklyn Park and wildlife biologist Chris Smith hope to change that this year. I will be testifying on Tuesday, um, providing you know that expert opinion and, and some of the context surrounding this issue. Yeah, so this bill would ban commercial turtle harvesting in Minnesota, uh, which is currently allowed for common snapping turtle, the aging turtle, and the spiny soft, soft shell turtle. Um, however, personal use is still allowed. Minnesota is one um, uh, of the few states that have uh, more relaxed uh, or doesn't really have strict uh, guidelines or policies mm -hmm. on, on turtle harvesting. Science is pretty clear that this is not a sustainable practice, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, the, the science is clear. Uh, you know, these are really long lived animals and they're slow to reach maturity and they're naturally, they naturally have fairly high uh, nest failure. And so not a lot of their offspring survive. A big reason a commercial turtle harvest isn't sustainable is because turtles take a long time to reach reproductive maturity. A snapping turtle doesn't lay its first eggs until age 17. A deer, for example, can have over 900 descendants in that length of time. Beyond just their you know, right to exist, um, turtles play a really important role on keeping our wetlands and other water bodies healthy. So they're scavenging and eating a lot of decaying material keeping the water clean. You know, as a Minnesotan, you know, land of 10,000 lakes, we like our water. Um, you know, they're an important component of that aquatic ecosystem. So we really do need to keep them around. There is something you can do if you want to save Minnesota's turtle species. Yes, if this is an issue that you care about um, and you know your representative, your uh, senator, uh, please uh, connect with them. Reach out to your elected officials and let them know that this is the issue that you care about. Let's keep our 10,000 lakes healthy and full of their beloved reptile residents.